Hey, what's up guys? We are at Overland the Red and I want to show you around our new to us Mission Overland trailer. This is a 2021 Mission Overland and it's a demo model that Michelle and I are using and we are having a great time here. This is the first weekend we've actually been able to, to sleep in it, stay in it, camp out of it and just really, uh, really use this trailer uh, to its, its uh, uh, to all of its capacity. So, <laughs> and then <laughs> somebody back there is having some fun. So this is a really great event. If you've never heard of this event, this happens in the Red River Gorge area. It happens at Cali's Lake Campground and we love it down here. It's beautiful. You can see behind me, the colors are starting to turn here. And uh, so anyway, so let's get started. We'll take you around and show you this trailer and some of the little things that we've kind of tweaked and added to it um, just to make the experience even, even better for us and easier for us. So this is a base camp event for us. Uh, it's not an overlanding in pr the, the aspect that we are out on the trail camping along the way, but this is really good because it, it lets, allows us to proof out this trailer and, and what we want to do for our overlanding trip coming up in a couple weeks in Vermont. So let's, let's walk you around this trailer. Okay, so here is our Mission Overland Summit trailer. We've got it all set up. So I'm gonna back up just a little bit here. So you can see it has a, a pop top on it, which is fantastic because it gives me standing room on the inside. And uh, I was able to change this morning in there and clean up. Uh, and I'll show you some other really cool things about it on the inside and why we like that. So, but that's the big thing with this. It's a really lightweight. This trailer weighs about 2,400 pounds. It has 3,500 pound axles, timberin axles on it. Um, so, and axle is just, it means that it has a lot of ground clearance. Um, and that way you're not dragging an axle up and over obstacles. So it's really great. It has this super cool hatch door in the back. It's kind of like a tank, right? So we love that. And uh, it, it allows us access to the back end of the trailer. And this is where we enter. So um, we got our 270 awning. This is an OVS awning. This comes uh, with each and every one of the summits that are out there. We like this. It's a, it's a really a readily available awning. So all of the uh, all the extra accessories that come along with this are always uh, always available. So so let's check out. So this is this is the work side of the kitchen. So as I mentioned, some of the things that we did is I actually picked these suction cups up, and uh, this works really good for just hanging things. Um, I've got the trash had the trash can down here. Michelle's taking care of the trash. Um, we were able to to hang that uh, front runner bag up with all of our silverware so it's easily accessible and then we use it over here just you know hanging a few things just so it kind of keeps them up out of the way um, I actually have my has this really great uh, fender that's standable uh, super strong uh, just put my front rudder table up there and um, uh, the tires they put on this they use a, a KMC wheel but they uh, they use a, a 265 70 17 tire to give you the ground clearance. Uh, they use this folding sink stove, so it's got running water, right? And then uh, we've got a stove that's underneath of this. I just have my cutting board over it. So it's got a two, uh, two burner Dometic stove with, uh, it worked really good. I made uh, coffee and stuff on that this morning. Underneath the slide has a little bit of storage underneath there, so you can put some pots, pans, uh, different things that you're gonna cook with. And then the whole thing just slides in underneath. Uh, this makes it really quick and deployable. So it's already hooked up to water. It's already hooked up to uh, um, the propane. All I have to do is turn my propane on, flip the switch on the inside for the water, and we're ready to go. So really, really great. This is a little bit different than the way we normally camp where we have to pull everything out. So uh, it also offers this really great little light on the outside. Just for uh, when we were cooking, we turned that on last night. We were able to cook uh, out here. It lights this entire area up, so we really enjoy, really like that. Um, it uses a really sturdy jack in the back on, to, to kind of level this, and it really is kind of a true leveling jack because, to be honest, it's so, so strong that I can lift the tire up off the ground and actually change the tire if I needed to. That's how strong it is. So walk around here. We have the Truma. I believe this is a... Uh, I think this is a 65 liter and it's uh it's dual zoned so we, it's got fridge freezer this worked really well for us um it has um has some charging ports and stuff on the side there 
and all that good stuff. So I was slowing the E1 cord over code right now. So it's been doing that. I don't know. Oh, there it come back. Okay. So it's working. So walking around the front of the trailer. Uh, spare tire on the front. Right? Dual propane tanks on this one. And then uh, we have this really great spot for storage boxes up top here. So I put the fire pit up there. I put a milk crate up there with our 20 pound tank for our little fire pit. I've got uh, our little container here that's full of, you know, some tools and just random things that we need to take to camp to make sure life stays comfortable. So really like that. It uses this, uh, it's a max coupler hitch on the front. I really like that. It uh, it doesn't buck or sway or anything like that when you're going down the road. When you when you're braking or accelerating, it doesn't doesn't bounce um, or doesn't jolt back and forth. So I really like that. On this side, the storage box. We've got um, single lithium in it. Um, I think from the factory they come with a battery, but I don't think it's a lithium battery. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an AGM or what it is exactly, but the electronics are very simple from the factory and it kind of gives you a lot of space and a lot of room to uh, upgrade, which I really like. This is just another little storage spot on the side here, just on the back side of the kitchen. You can put a handful of things. I just put our hoses and different things like that back here. And then, of course, our shower tent. This is also OVS. I got it staked down right now because it's pretty windy today. And this just unzips here, right? And Michelle put her little potty in there. So she has a place to go potty here at the event so she doesn't have to walk all the way down the porta potties. Bullfinch shower port, right? These are really becoming quite popular. Um, we have 30 gallons of fresh water on board, which is which is great. I'll show you over here. We have We have a fill here. Down here where we can fill the fresh water and this is for our truma combi this runs a uh, truma combi which is the heat and hot water and then it has a port for air conditioning which is for one of these portable air conditioners and uh, we'll have to try that when it gets warm we got a trip to florida plan so maybe it'll get warm enough down there so we can try it and then shore power plug so you can plug it up into shore power now when you back up and you kind of look at the trailer you can see that it has this really great wrap right submission so offers a ton of really cool wraps for these I mean there's just so many options you can kind of match your your vehicle up to that so anyhow there's the outside uh, we really like it so we'll take you on the inside and we'll show you that around okay so we're gonna come in the back of the trailer here and you can see it's got this really great screen door so Michelle's going to unzip that for us. Michelle's going to kind of show us around the inside here. We're going to talk about it. And uh, so when you come in, you have a step here that pulls out from underneath. And then you can step up in the inside. Ray's going to get inside with everybody. So, so Michelle, talk to us about the inside. Uh, let's start in the front. Uh, we kind of used these last night, uh, the reading lights, which was really great, right? Yeah, there's two of those. Two of those. Okay. And then uh, what about the windows? Talk to me about the windows. How do those work? So they just unlatch? Okay. Okay. Push out. Okay. Well, the shower is deployed, so. Yeah. It's hitting the screen. On that side, yeah. And then you have those you can. There's your nightshade. Which we used last night. That was great, right? Just kind of block out anything. And then when the windows open, you can see you got your screen so the bugs don't come in. Yeah, so, okay, that's cool. And then uh, up top, what talk about these. These are two additional features you can add on. So okay. Bunks for so, children or adults. So they actually... They kind of fold down, right? Yeah, I've got blankets in it, so I'm using the blankets. We're just, we're just using them as storage, but they come down. So and, the bar comes out. Okay. So and then across. they rest on these little hooks. Okay. And keep the children can climb in there. It still allows you to enough space underneath lay in here and sleep right uh, yeah. just like a bunk bed man that's pretty cool it's like camp all right so currently they're just making great storage for us yeah we're just throwing some light stuff up there to kind of hang out up there um before i get in here okay. that is queen i mean it's what i mean 
an inch or two short of queen. I, I think a queen's like, what, 60 by 80, and this is like 56 by 80, yeah. I think, something like that. So. I mean, my queen sheet fits really good. But yeah, yeah, there. okay. There's a lot of storage that didn't use. This one here has the Truma system in it, but there's still room on the side. As just you to tuck a few things like our, yeah. our hammocks or raincoats or something. But this one here is completely empty. Oh, wow. So it's got a lot of storage in mm -hmm. there then. Okay. So that one, and they're really deep. Yeah. Okay. And then what else, what else we got for storage in here? So this has got storage. Okay. Fabulous. So you got a few things in there, but that's, that's, a lot that's, that's a lot of storage. Completely. So what do you think? I mean, how many, how many five gallon, I mean, how many one gallon jugs do you think you could fit in there, Shell? Oh. A couple, two, three, four of them easily enough. Oh, six. Yeah, six, seven. So there's a lot of storage here. I think we, we have our bag and everything in here, and right? Shoes. Yeah. Wow. That's really There's deep. Not, I mean, the only plumbing in this one is the uh, furnace vent. Yeah. Everything and, just, and it's tucked really nicely yeah. along the top side. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay. So talk to me, talk to me one more uh, about up on the ceiling here. What do we get on the ceiling? Max air vent. Max air vent. So this is pretty easily to reach, right? You can yeah, reach well, it. If not. And then there's also remote control. Yeah. You can use that while you're laying in bed, so you don't need to get on bed to adjust that. Um, okay. You can use that. And we added yesterday. We added a couple of these. What well, they just command hooks. hooks for and trash in your. Yeah. Um, so just hang, hanging like things up. That which towels, works good. Whatever. Along with all of your storage. Okay. These are oh, nice. All okay. Open. Lots of storage in there. Same all the way down. This one here is the only one that's. This one here is also. Right, this is where we put the power burner. Oh yeah, you can so do just whatever you want things, in here. Yeah. Stuff that we don't need to get to all the time, right? Yeah. These okay. are also all storage. Wow. Okay. This is your breakers. It's a converter. It's got all the breakers and and those kind of things. Okay. Pretty simple, pretty simple setup, right? On the electronics like we talked about. Truma control, this is your Truma combi, so your hot water heater and your furnace controller. Okay. This is your light switches for internal, external, and water pump. You got your chargers and then your 12, this is a 12 volt. Okay. And then, and then this is, this is, this is an add-on, but you can get this, but this is a, um, this is the MPP uh, T solar uh, charger. Um, kind of keeps track of all your solar and all that good stuff because we have a solar panel on this one, right? Yeah. So, and then I mean, you can stand up. So, so show everybody how well you can stand up in this thing, right? So, and you, you're just barely touching the top, right? Yeah. Wow. You're six three and you don't touch. Right. So, that's what's cool about this. So you can yeah, you can stand up on the inside. The bed is, so this table here, you use a Laguna leg. Oh yeah. So so sit down there and show me that. How does that work there? Okay. It swivels in all the directions, so you can both sit here, have dinner, you flip people all the way around it. Right. I mean, it can go up all the way in the front. If someone sits up there, you can have your kids up there. Yeah. While we can move around. And you did something down here too, right? Last night that was kind of cool that so, nobody really thought of, right? This is down in the bed position. The small, short set for toilet, actually, which is the um, cassette toilet, it slides under there once the Laguna leg and everything in the right. folding position. It'll actually slide underneath there, so then when you're sleeping at night, you don't even have to leave the camper. You can pull the toilet out, and it'll sit right here in this aisle up over here, and it only takes about 50% of the space up, so you can stand here, use the restroom, slide it back underneath, and crawl back. Gotcha. So okay. So that's great. So yeah. So we're using it outside right now, but right, but you can put it in here, so you could use it. So you got a little potty on the inside at night. So uh, talk, I mean, the heater was good last night. We we used the heater. Um, we've used the kitchen today, the sink. Um, what do you think? Thoughts? Quick thoughts? No, it's a huge bonus for us. Yeah. I, I don't want to have to go outside to get dressed. I don't want to have to go outside to um, go to the bathroom. Yeah. Here it, in the middle of night. I mean, it was nice just sliding out of bed this morning, kind of getting around for a shower. We went down the, you know, because we're at the campground, so we got a shower. But it was nice to just grab all of our clothes. And again, we haven't really organized this. No. A bunch. We will though, right? A little bit more than where we're at. So, um, but overall, it's good, right? I mean, we really like this. I want a place for people to come in. Yeah. And sit down for a minute if we need to to wind down and have a place to sit down and the dog, obviously, and not be in climbing all over. My, I I don't want the dog to be yeah. climb all over my bed and everything else while we sit and have a moment and be able to have a, a dinner if it's windy outside. I mean, we cook dinner outside, but 
which is where I want my mess, but I won't be able to come in and sit down and have a nice dinner where the wind ain't blowing my food everywhere. Yeah, either. and we're supposed to get some rain this yeah. weekend, so it'll be nice to have a nice dry place to come in and eat if we want to. Correct. So, I mean, the awning's great, but if we get any kind of wind, it'll be just kind of a bummer, so. Yeah, and the screen makes it nice because you can still have and, the okay. opening open for the air and fresh air, right. but yet have the bugs stay outside. So. And, and, okay, so now you pulled this down to Expo East, right? I pulled this. Yes. Yeah, well, behind the gladiator. Yeah. How, what did you think? Just Pulled like, great, right? Just like driving my Jeep in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it does good behind the gladiator. No, yeah. no issues at all. Um, and I mean, we're kind of excited about continuing to use this thing, right? I mean, it's going to yeah. be kind of a really, really nice camper I to mean, use. So. Me, I don't want to build something out on my Jeep and have it permanent. So that's yeah. where the struggle is for me. And this is probably yeah. checks almost every box for me. So that's cool. That's cool. Awesome. So there it is. We are going to be doing a lot of videos on this. So if I didn't cover everything, leave us a comment down below so I can I can cover something for you. Uh, you know, just real quick specs on this trailer. Again, you know, it, it's light enough to pull with a four door Jeep, which is fantastic. Um, the, you know, the Gladiator handled it without any any problems at all. Um, it's it's all aluminum and steel. Um, there's some composites that are in it, so there's a no wood product. Um, even now on the newer models, like just the wooden block table is aluminum. Um, so that's this speaks volumes to the way they're building them. And, uh, and Mission is actually owned by Macau Industries, which is out of Winnipeg, Canada. These guys are awesome. They have an amazing shop that, that is a metal fabrication shop. They've been in business for like 40 years. So they really know metal fabrication. So when it comes right down to it, putting the trailer together, building the trailer, it's fantastic because they do, they know what they're doing when it comes to the metal fabrication. Uh, and they're learning so much with the, uh, with the trailer building thing. And they've been doing this for quite a while uh, with Mission. So uh, we are really excited to be working with these guys. And uh, we, we have another one of the demos that we'll show you at some point on the channel. Um, it's kind of a very new product for them and we're very, very excited about it. So uh, anyways, you've seen it here. If you have questions, comments, uh, subscribe to the channel. We always appreciate that. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll try to get those answers as quickly as possible. If you need more information about the trailer, you're interested in purchasing and pricing on this, uh, please send an email over to adventures at missionoverland.ca. That's dot C-A, okay? Canadian company, not C O M C A. So, anyways, this is uh, this is Justin Michelle, Misplaced Overland, and we appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you next time.